Hey YouTube, Trey here from Topic Tech and we're going to be talking about the Boxy TV. I've had this for about a week, so this video is going to show you my experience of how well it works. First we're going to show you how it sets up. Boxy states this is pretty fast and it is. When you first turn it on it asks you if you want to do English or Spanish. Of course we're going to do English. And then the next thing it tells you is if you want to set it up to 1080p or leave it at 720p. We're going to use 1080p. And I apologize for the lines on the screen. It's weird how it casts from video. That It doesn't look like that in person. So You connect to your internet. Pretty simple. And then here's where we get to the keyboard part. So it's pretty, the remote's pretty responsive. So selecting letters, it's really easy. It's very fast as well too. Once you're done selecting your network, it has you set up an account with boxy.tv backslash setup. It gives you a pin that you simply type in on the website. It's very easy. It's very self-explanatory. It takes you to a site that looks like this. It asks you for your credit card information. I'm going to skip this part, but if you want to purchase premium services like the unlimited DVR, that's where you would pay for it. Then it has you give a location of your boxy TV, so if you have several ones set up in your house, you can select living room or bedroom or type whatever destination that you want it to be in. It tells you to put in your postal code, and that's for your HD antenna to find the channels that are local by. And it asks you how you're going to be connecting to a TV signal. I select antenna here because I don't have cable, so we're going to see whatever HD channels are available in this area. Next they have you set up your social media. Of course it's more advertising for them, but you can also share with your friends what movies or videos that you're watching using your Boxy TV. Cool, and that's pretty much it. Once you locate all the channels that are available, you hit continue. Now the HD antenna that it comes with is pretty puny. Now to my knowledge, and I haven't tried this, but it looks like you should be able to use any universal HD antenna that uses a coaxial input. That way you can get more channels that this little guy can't provide you. So in my area, I'm only able to find two out of the seven broadcasting channels. But now with a better antenna, I should be able to get seven out of seven. But with the one that it comes with, I'm only getting two. And that's it. Once you're done with all that, it brings you right to the user interface. It's very, very simple, very dry cut. You have TV and you have apps. Looking at the TV, it shows you what two channels that you have, what's coming up, and it breaks it down into 30 minute intervals. So you can set yourself up to watch whatever is coming up at that time, and it reminds you uh, whenever it comes up. Through apps, you got Netflix, Vudu, and YouTube. We'll come back to those. That's it. And some more apps you get AccuWeather, Cloudy, File Browser, MLB.TV, Pandora, Spotify, TED, Vimeo, and the WSJ Live. So let's take a look at live TV. Now again, with a better antenna, the signal is going to be much better. With this one that comes in the box, out of my personal use, doesn't work very well at all. Not even usable, really. Now testing the other channel that I have. Looks a lot better. Next, let's take a look at Netflix. As soon as it loads up. Yeah. Okay, so guys, so I cut quite a bit of this. It's taking quite a while for it to load. My router is right next to this boxy box, and it's connected wireless, but uh, it, it doesn't feel like it's running on wireless in, which my router in the box is. So. Now we can actually take a look at Netflix. So Netflix, this user interface looks a lot like the PlayStation 3 version, which is cool. I like the PlayStation 3 version. You can scroll up and down, side to side. It doesn't have the same feel or the animation that the PS3 gives with that better processor built into the PS3. So it really kind of feels like a card cookie cutter type of style. 
it slides from one pane to the other without gliding but I mean it still gets the job done or does it so yeah it took a little while for all those images to load up again I'm right next to my router it's all connected wirelessly it probably would run fast a little a little faster with hardwire but it still should run just as fast as my PS3 that runs wirelessly next let's take a look at YouTube okay guys I'm gonna be honest it's not gonna get any better it could be my internet connection I probably recommend if you're gonna use this to be connected through hardwire but it took a while for this to load up again I cut some of it out because I don't want to make this boring but wireless on this doesn't work very well gonna just be honest there now taking a look at the YouTube app built into the boxy the layout really isn't a comfortable layout it's not one that I've seen before um, YouTube web browser should be an easy thing to import into a box like this and they should have just kept with that but scrolling through all of these little icons cool thing is you can connect your mobile device or tablet and you can control and play videos from your tablet straight to your box of TV which is awesome but the setup process is very complicated it's not as easy as when you set up the boxy TV you have to go through and do some other things that I didn't feel like doing so if you ever get one of these take advantage of it it's probably going to be the best thing because using the user interface of the boxy TV almost honestly is makes it pointless I'd rather watch it on my laptop next let's take a look at settings there's a little settings button on the right once you go into it it tells you what version you're in the device or the location where it's at the network and about your information about your network display information so if you're on 1080p or 720p you can also edit TV channels and like your station this is where you change your zip code if you ever move your time and location also tells you the weather which is pretty nice services like Netflix and Voodoo and support so this is where you can push into recovery mode you can log into your cloud DVR which brings me to another point Cloud DVR is not available in all areas. There's a very small list of CDs that's available for this DVR. I'll leave up an annotation so that you can click the link to find out if it's available in your area. But yeah, that's it. It's very simple. I feel like this is Boxy's answer to the Roku box and trying to be a lot more competitive, especially with price. This is only $99 at Walmart and a lot of other electronics places. You can also buy it online as well too. A couple of pros about buying this device is the price. It's very easy to set up. It has Spotify, which I know a lot of people use. DVR, wherever it's available, and it also has Facebook integration, which is cool. A couple of cons is that it's very slow or unreliable over Wi-Fi. Doesn't support network media where I can pull video off of my computer. Doesn't have a keyboard on the remote, and DVR is only available in a few areas. So I want to thank all of my YouTube subscribers and the people who left a comment on my last video. Thank you very much. The winner of the Boxy TV is going to be Levi Nelly. I used listrandomizer.com to select the winner of this video. So Levi, send me a message through YouTube and I'll get your Boxy TV mailed to you immediately. So okay guys, that's it. Thank you for watching. As always, please do subscribe and I will see you next time. Check out TopicTech.com for more videos like this one.